Hello, Mini Masters, and welcome to the tutorial for Lines That Wiggle. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a squiggly looking flower. So I'm gonna do this together with you today. So what you're gonna need is a heavy piece of paper. I chose some white cardstock, and you're gonna need some crayons. You can use any color crayons you want. I'm gonna use uh, purple and a reddish crayon and maybe an orange crayon. You can choose however many colors you want. So take one color first and we're gonna draw a flower. So you wanna draw the inside of your flower, nice and big, just a circle. And then we're gonna draw our flower petals. They can be big petals like this, they can be little ones like that. Just make big petals all over your page. Don't worry if they're not perfect. No flower is completely perfect. So there you go, I have my flower right there. So then taking our other, another color crayons, this is where we're gonna start, we're gonna practice our different types of lines. So in each one of these petals, I want you to draw a different kind of line and I'll show you what I mean. So for this petal, I'm gonna do straight lines. So lines that go just completely straight, just like that. Now in this petal, I'm gonna do some loop-de-loop -loop lines, like this. So I go loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop-de-loop-de-loop. -loop -de -loop -de -loop. So those are, that's a different kind of line right there. And then let's see, let's choose another color. Well, it's a pretty gray color. And let's do maybe a zigzag. Zigzag back and forth. And they can be any kind of design, any kind of color that you want. How about a brown? And let's do some wavy, a wavy line. Almost looks like a bunch of U's or W's. Okay, that's another type of line right there. And coming over here, let's try a different line. How about a dotted line? Dot that or maybe a, this is actually a dashed line sorry we use some dashes and then for this one here this is where i'm going to do a dotted line so dotted line just like it sounds it's a line but it's a line with dots it doesn't have to be a perfect line it doesn't have to be a perfect dot so we're just practicing a different colors of line or different types of lines and what they look like. And then you can do anything you want to in the middle. So I'm gonna do a big, it almost looks like a snail, a spiral, that's a type of line too, a spiral. It's all the way down. So then you take some watercolors, got my watercolor pan here, and you want your paintbrush and dip your paintbrush in your water and get a little bit of your watercolor, any color you want. We're gonna fill in these petals. So I'm gonna use any color I want to fill in these petals. So what happens when you paint over the lines, oh, look at that, they reappear. So you're gonna paint right over your crayons and the watercolor will actually Paint right over top of the crayons, but the crayons will reappear. And don't worry if you get outside your line here, because what we're gonna do is cut it out when we're all finished. You can use the same color for all of your petals. You can use a different color for all your petals. You can use a lot of water or a little bit of water. Remember, Mini Masters, if you use more water, your paint will be really, really thin and watery. But if you want a darker color, you don't use as much water. So it's a good practice on using our watercolors. You see how your lines show through? So there you go. There is our, our flower made out of different kinds of lines. So when it's all dry completely, take a pair of scissors and cut out around your flower. You don't have to, but you can make it three-dimensional. Otherwise, you can keep it on your piece of paper just like that. So there you go, guys. 
Happy, happy line drawing. Bye.